Nice to meet you, Geraldine. <laughs> this is Cherise, Dr. Rolleston's niece, practically royalty. Sweet. I am loving Maeve already. Same. Every time I see her, she's focused, working hard. She's setting a great example for the team. Well, Nicole's already doing that, and she's still DOE. Mum, it's fine. Oh, it's so uh, pushing Chris aside. It's not like that. Yeah, I'm cracking the whip. We're already working to full capacity. So, back to Kylie. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Yes, poor Angel. Mm. She'll be in the clink for a while. Yeah, yeah well, who knows? Oh, he twisted his ankle at the gym. I'm a couple of minutes away from twisting the other one. I always keep bothering you. Yeah, he says he's got to be somewhere important, don't we all? Hey, Geraldine. Oh. Funny. Mm. Hello, you too. <laughs> on babysitting duty. Do you hear the George Ben and Uncle? <laughs> Frank, hi. I, I've been thinking about you and, and Chris, the whole Warner clan, on the plane flying and thinking. Are you talking about Phoenix? Yes, it's tragic. And poor Tess isn't coping. What? Where is she? She's OK. She had a bit of a spin out, but I think I sorted her out. It's just about listening, you know. Yeah, well, thanks for caring. Yeah, and how are you? It must have been hard learning all that about Kylie. Harder on her, learning about herself? Yeah, of course. Well, maybe we should visit her, mm. keep her spirits up. Doesn't want to see anyone. Well, she might say that, but she doesn't mean it. I've tried. Y you went to the prison? You will not even let me fill out a form. No visitors. Mm. Well, if, if you ever want to talk, I'm here. Cheers. 10 out of 10 for effort, love. But Kylie Brown can't be swapped out like a gas bottle at a Barbie. She's mm -hmm. unique. So am I. Yeah, of course. So where's Angle Man going? Home. What? You sent him away? We we can't do that, can we? We do what? Well, tell a patient to leave without them seeing a doctor. I didn't tell him. I gave him options and he chose to leave. Couldn't you get in trouble for that, though? No, Zara knows what I'm doing. And this way we free ourselves up to deal with serious patients. And more time to gossip. So, go for it, ladies. Cheeky. Brainy, more like. Giving the patients options. Yes. I'm not sure. I'll ring you if I need you, but I don't need you. Have a lovely day. Goodbye. Oh, God. Is that Chris checking in? <sighs> Telling me to keep an eye on the nursing staff going beyond their purview. Is he talking about Maeve? Oh, who knows? Well, she's a nurse practitioner. She works independently. He knows that. Let's not give it a second thought. Well, hang on. Why? Why is he even raising the issue? Isn't he out of town with Michelle? Probably got security cam access, listening to her every word. <sighs> Mother. Hmm? Have you got something to do with this? Hmm? Sorry? Oh, no, I, I was away with the fairies. <laughs> Thinking about knitting something for Eddie's baby. Why is she even Next time you get hay fever, think GT, not me. Okay? Bye bye. Yeah. Hey, oh. how's your team? Oh, can you believe I've got time for a coffee break? World's upside down and I love it. <laughs> hey, I just want to thank you, Mae. For what? For your work today. All of you. Yeah, we crushed it. Yeah, I was expecting it to be mad in here, but we're actually on top of things. Mm, well, we got a system. And it's working. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's all turning people away. Mum. I'm watching you, Missy. Oh, do you like what you say? Oh, don't you sass me. Maeve is a nurse practitioner. Yes, but she's not a doctor. And Chris isn't happy. It was you, wasn't it? You called him. I don't think you understand my status in the Warner family now. I am in the circle. You were booted out. Yes, I got let back in. Uh, Chris, yeah. They're at it again. Mm hmm. Completely defying your orders. Mm. Just it's so quiet in here. Hmm? Don't curse it. I think I saw tumbleweed. <laughs> Let's just keep it that way. Isn't there a rule about food at the desk? Oh, my bad. Go in the staff room. It's not busy, and you've got plenty of cover. Just how a well-run hospital should be. Well, why do you keep spoiling me? Because you keep vacuuming my bedroom. Well, it's my job. But um, maybe we should have a code. Hey? In case you bring home a, a lady friend. Oh, <laughs> I'll just text that. All right. Or, or you could hang your cap on the door handle, and I'll, I'll just go straight past. It's it. All right. Copy that. <laughs> Thank you.
What was it like? Frank's bedroom, I'm not telling you. N no? I mean, I mean the whole house, the, the vibe. Oh, well, it's a bit of a downer at the moment, thanks to Phoenix and Kylie. Well, what that needs is a zap of life, fresh face. Mm. Well, yeah, <laughs> I try. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? Oh, just so glad everyone has time for chit-chat around here. <laughs> well, we are connecting as colleagues. Communication is key to efficiency during busier times. Hey, I need a wheelchair. Hey, I know this guy. Well, you sent him away. I gave him options. Did, did your hay fever get worse? He's short of breath. Oh, I knew something like this would happen. OK, mate, let's just see you down. No, 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 no. Hey, get a stretcher, let's get him to ED. Well, I'm going to have to call in extra medical staff. Do it. What has even happened here? Maeve happened. Mum, oh, I don't understand. She's been sending patients away before they've been properly assessed, but she's stopped that now. I was giving them options. And then Cherise copied her. But the patient came back, uh, couldn't breathe. Why wasn't I informed? Harper talked me through the case and he is fine now. And I'll be speaking to Cherise when things settle down. Yeah, I've been saying all day that Maeve needs to get to know the staff. Communicate. Gossip is not communication. And then she would realise that Cherise had gone beyond her brief. Look, I don't mind being called out, but not by the admissions clerk. Chris Warner told me direct that he does not want patients sent away from here before they've been seen by a doctor. Well, you spoke to Chris Warner about me. Is she for real? OK, everybody just stop talking. What's going on? Chris. I left you in charge. You don't need to be here, Chris. Clearly you're not coping. Excuse me? Perhaps we should take this upstairs. What, so you can insult me in private? I'm away for one day and essential protocols around patient safety are just ignored. Absolutely not. Well, it sounds like it to me. And you sound to me like... Well, go on, say it. No, not here. Well, where then? You won't talk here, you won't talk upstairs, you won't defend yourself because and you, you can't. And you won't let go and you won't face the facts. What facts? You're not running this place on your own anymore, Chris. You're running it with me. I am still in charge. You work for me. No, we both work for the board. And they wanted you gone when your son stole a million dollars from the hospital. They don't trust you anymore, Chris. So you better start trusting me.